My name is Jaw the Creator. Y'all probably don't know who I am. You know, I just recently actually started, you know, getting serious with YouTube. But, you know, I'm going to try and start uploading more. Hopefully, y'all enjoy this video, you know. But as you read the title, this is the video of the nice guy. No, not nice guy. I don't know what I'm talking about. The new guy syndrome, right? So basically, what I'm this is this I, I made this up, right? The new guy syndrome has three types. First is the like the like the the boss dude who instantly becomes friends with everybody, you know, get all of the females and stuff like that. Then we got the mid, the dude who really like scopes out who he really wants to like be friends with and who he wants to associate himself with. And then we got the NPCs, which is pretty much self-explanatory. They're going to be NPCs most of the time, right? So, th in this story, um, I'm more of like a, the mid, I guess, where I'm just going to scope out everybody. And I'm going to sit here and just like chill for real. Like, I'm going to chill out. I'm going to scope out everybody, see who I want to hang out with, right? So, this uh, takes place uh, not too far back, but far enough, I guess. I moved to a new school from a new state, you know. It, se it seems like it's good, you know. I'm just scoping out e everything, not really talking that much. Only talking when people talk to me, you know. So, for fa first, like, three days, I'm like a quiet kid. But let's go back to the first day, right? First day of school, I see people staring at me and stuff like that. I'm not taking it to like to mind. I'm really scoping them out for real, so it doesn't really bother me if they scope me out, right? But um, fast forward to probably uh second period. Let's go to second period. So my second period, I see this really cute girl, right? And I was like, oh, that, that's what's up. You know, she's cute. You know, I wouldn't mind, you know, talking to her. So, and that, I didn't talk to her in that period because we were, like, really far away. I didn't really feel like moving. Yeah, I'm a lazy, I'm a lazy sucker. You don't have to, you don't have to come to me in the comments talking about, oh, you should have talked to her. Nah. But, um, now let's go to probably, like, lunch. Around, yeah, around lunch. So, around lunchtime... Uh, this one girl came up to me, asked me for my Instagram. She didn't say her name. She didn't say nothing. She just asked me for my Instagram. So, me being new, I was like, for sure, if a girl's going to ask me for my Instagram, I'm going to give it to her. Come to find out, she's friends with the pretty girl I was just talking to. So, she told her friend to come over here and introduce herself and stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, that's what's up. But then after I got that girl Instagram, I just, you know, kind of walked off. I'm still scoping out everybody. I'm not trying to be associated with nobody yet. Right. Um, so this, uh, this, the pretty girl that I thought, you know, would be cool to talk to. We have the same, uh, fourth period. So I'm just sitting down in the seat. I'm really like putting my head down on the desk, just watching, uh, YouTube, listening to music, doing me. Right. She starts texting me. Mind you, I never gave her my Instagram at all. So, you know, I remember one of my relatives telling me, you know, oh, when you get to this school, people are just going to, you know, want to talk to you because you're new. Don't take it to mind. You know, don't worry about none of that. But on the other hand, would you not text back? a pretty girl who got your instagram right but she never even asked you for it so it means she must have been looking for that junk right or she could have just asked her friend but at the same time she still wanted to talk to me right so i started texting her back i'm like we having a full-on conversation mind you we have the same fourth period and she's sitting directly in front of me i just did not know so i'm she's like oh yeah this class is so boring i'm like what class are you in She's like, I'm right in front of you. So that put a smile on her face. She started laughing and jump. So then we started flirting or whatever, right? Fast forward back to, let's say when I get home and stuff like that. We're texting, we're texting. Uh, fast forward for the next, for the next like three days, we sit here just texting back and forth, calling back and forth, just hanging out, you know? We just chilling for real. And then um 
I'm pretty sure this takes place the day after I met her, I guess. I, I went to my first period, right? And um, I met this one dude, we became friends, right? I, I show him a picture of the girl and he says, oh, nah, she got a reputation on her. I'm like, oh, what she do? You know what she do? Like, did she like fight somebody? Nah, apparently she's known for being a cheater, and um, and she was sitting here giving God God three thousand school. I'm like, whoa there, buddy. I don't I don't, I don't know about all, all that one, right? And also, I'm gonna give the name to uh, a name to the uh, girl. I'm gonna call her Kayla. All right. So I'm like, Kayla wouldn't do that. I'm giving Kayla the uh, benefit of the doubt, right? So sitting here giving Kayla the benefit of the doubt, I asked her uh, when when I got back to my house, I was like, yo, you got a reputation on me. I mean, on you. And she's like, oh, really? How did you even find that out? I'm like, this one dude told me, but I heard you be wilding out here. Then she told me a story about how people say she was cheating, which she probably just was. But knowing me, I don't know who is lying. I'm brand new. He could be lying, which I don't really see a reason for him to lie. But at the time, I also didn't see a reason for her to lie. So I'm sitting here like, you know, I'll, I'll just give her a chance, you know, just listen to her. I'm still friends with the other dude, too. But I was, I was just giving her the benefit of the doubt. Right. Because some people might just, you know, do one thing. And not actually like be like that. People be exaggerating. So I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt or whatever. Then about two, three days later, come to find out that she lied about that, right? So I'm like, why would you lie about that? Like, if you were more honest, I would have respected you more because you know you're being honest about the situation. Even though I probably wouldn't be talking to you, you know. I would still respect you. You you could still be my friend or whatever. And she's like, she starts just getting mad because I was irritated at the fact that she's sitting here a liar for what? Like, there's no reason to lie, right? So she hangs up on me, which I found very disrespectful for real. So, I, you know, knowing me, I did not call her back. I didn't talk to her. But then the next day, she's acting like we all goody goody and stuff. I'm like, yo, you gotta back that out. You gotta, chill, you like, you gotta chill out, bro, because I ain't, I ain't messing with what you did. You know, that was real disrespectful. Then she apologizes and she's like, oh yeah, I was just mad. You just made me mad. I'm like, you shouldn't even be mad if if you said it wasn't like true. You shouldn't even be mad at the situation. But I also see what she was saying at the same time. But let's continue with the story. Um, so. Then we, there's a lot of fast forwards in the story too. Fast forward another day, which is pretty recent, like probably like a week ago. Um, uh, what should I call it? She's sitting here still after is like right after the situation. Uh, she's sitting here trying to be all goody goody again after I talked to her about it and she explained everything and the stuff that she says people were lying about were true. So she making me waste my time. I don't like wasting my time. So I'm sitting here just not talking to her. You know, I'm not being disrespectful about it. I just, I'm just like, yo, what you did was messed up. You know, I just I, I just don't want to talk to you right now. So she's trying to act like we all goody goody. Her and her friend, because girls usually do this. If you live in America, you definitely know. Or if you talk to girls in general, you definitely know. Uh when girls think you're mad at them or they're mad at you, they'll get their friends and just like try and like annoy you, I guess, because it, I find it real annoying. But I'm sitting here seeing her with her friend. They sitting here trying to talk to me and stuff like that. I plug my AirPod right in and walk past them. Next thing you know, all I'm saying is, ooh, like all I'm hearing is, ooh, and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm sitting here just not even paying attention. I'm just doing me at this point. So fast forward to fourth period when i have her again and she's saying here be like oh now you want to talk to me and stuff but i was kind of just confused i was like yo what was the point of even doing that i had to like calm down before i could even talk to her again but 
then she's sitting here just saying all this yada 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 yeah i thought we were just friends anyways but if you sit here telling me that you like me and that we're sitting here flirting on the phone all the time i'm pretty sure that's talking not even from the cat because friends don't be doing that right so then um what's my call it then you know i'm just i'm just leaving this situation alone i'm trying to be mature about the situation right and after she said that i was like yeah you know what you are right and then she was like i didn't know you wanted to try and even be in a relationship ain't nobody was trying to be in a relationship cuz like i was sitting here just chilling and you the one who came up to me and got my instagram i ain't come for you so i'm just like you know what yeah and she was like Oh, I didn't know you wanted to be in a relationship. I was like, ha, 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 ha. I wouldn't be in a relationship with you. You're not girlfriend material. And she was like, what you mean I'm not girl girlfriend material? I'm like, exactly what I just said. You know, if it, you might be girlfriend material for somebody else. But that somebody else is probably going to be in an open relationship with you. Because low key, you, you, you be wilding. You be wilding. So she's sitting here just got quiet for like a good 15 20 seconds and i'm just like okay like what, what you want me to say about the situation but then she's like you know what yeah yada 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 this and then uh she just started getting quiet giving me short answers i'm like well i'll call you later and stuff like that but yeah, that's pretty much of done with like the uh, first episode of not a new guy syndrome. Let me brief it up for y'all real quick. You know, basically, you got the boss, the mid, and the NPC, right? Me, I'm the mid. You know, I'm just scoping out everything. And in this situation. I feel like I wasn't wrong. Like, y'all gotta tell me in the comments. Y'all gotta tell me in the comments if I was wrong or not for doing what I did, for saying what I said, how she not girlfriend material and stuff like that. Y'all gotta, honestly, like, I'm honestly, genuinely thinking about this. This is the first episode episode of uh, uh, New Guy Syndrome, right? So, if y'all wanna see a video on the boss one, because this is like still ongoing, but if y'all got any, uh, if y'all got like any recommendations on what I should talk about next, hit me up on Instagram, you know, just give me a recommendation, I might do it. I might do it, not gonna lie, I might talk about it. So, if you guys like this and y'all wanna see more of the new guy syndrome arc, uh, then just let me know because, you know, I'm still new. <laughs> So, if you if you want to see it, let me know. If you want to see any other videos, recommend it in my Instagram or in the comments. And without further ado, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe because I'm I'm, I'm just now getting serious with this YouTube stuff, and I'm gonna be taking it serious. I'm gonna be making YouTube shorts, YouTube videos, YouTube live streams. I even got a Twitch. I might make a kick too. I'm going to be trying to live stream every day, make a YouTube video every day. But I'm going to need some recommendations because, you know, a dude run out of ideas eventually. So, you know, without further ado, please show some support and I will see y'all in the next one.